This is a very important moment in European policy making where we really need to engage consumers into more sustainable food consumption patterns. And it's quite a challenge and we need to have consumers on board. Today we talked about the farm to fork strategy and we came here to talk about the need to use a strategy to um, start a transition for the food system in Europe so that we can shift how we're producing, consuming and trading food um, towards more sustainable patterns and, and systems. Certain choices have been made in the past that made the food system not the most sustainable system. Yeah? So we need to address that and every body needs to be committed on this. For the moment they are really very unsustainable, not only in terms of climate but also in, t also in terms of public health and on food waste. So consumers really need to be able to make healthy, sustainable food choices and for that this sustainable food choice needs to be easy, affordable and the default one. And to some extent unsustainable food choices should be made much more difficult and sometimes impossible. Very important there is um, to be more transparent to the consumer in terms of guiding the consumer to more nutritious and more sustainable choices. Um, it is not always easy that because it's not always clear what is most nutritious. For nutrition there are systems that are being discussed like the Nutri-Score system that Nestle is applying and I think this is one that shows that it really can help. So one of the things that needs to be done is really to have clear information that is trustworthy, but also to give the right price signals. Because what happens for the moment is that uh, sustainable food is very often more expensive because there is this uh, specific price tag because uh, retailers and producers are aware that consumers might be ready to pay more for sustainable goods. But that's against the polluter pays principle. Normally, sustainable food should be cheaper than unsustainable food. And that's quite a mentality and a whole system that needs to be changed. Governments and companies have at least as much responsibility as consumers to make the sustainable choice easier. Uh, consumers make the final choice but they're influenced by the environment around them and at the moment sustainable diets uh, but also sustainably produced food um, is hard to come by, is more expensive and also um, there's a lot of greenwashing and of false claims around this. So governments and companies need to come clear, need to ensure that there's transparency, um, need to ensure that the legal framework is uh, adequate to ensure that uh, food is produced sustainably across the board, not just the most expensive food, but every, everywhere. For sustainability, it's more complicated. We do not yet have the right framework on that. There is, a, there is some methodology at European level, like the product environmental footprint, where there was a lot of discussion a few years ago already, where we have started to see, okay, what are the criteria that we need to take into account to consider something sustainable? I think now we need to take the final mile and really translate that in a kind of approach that can help us to address the gaps in the supply chain but that is also communicable to the consumers. Being a sustainable consumer should not be a punishment, it should be made easy and he should not be the only one bearing the responsibility for more sustainable lifestyles. So everybody needs to contribute to this change, systemic change of lifestyles.